Hi guys, I'm Lillian. And I'm Felipe. We are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK, searching for Great Britain. We make three new videos every week, and we would love it if you subscribe to our channel. In this episode, we're going to react to a scene from Scene Around Six. In 1974, they went out into the streets and interviewed people about streaking. Streaking, I think they're, they're mad. Why? I think it's ridiculous. In the first place, it's far ridiculous. too cold, really. Well, would you do it yourself, for example? Well, not, not in March, no, no. What about June or July? Not well, if somebody paid me enough, I might. Paid me enough? Fantastic. Fantastic? <laughs> Why fantastic? Well, it's good. It's different from everything else. Would you do it yourself? Um, if it's a bit warmer, maybe. <laughs> so, June or July, we can expect to see you on the street, don't we? You might. You might. Oh, I don't know anything about it. It's a new craze where people run through the streets in the nude. Oh. <laughs> oh. What do you think about that? Not very common, anyway. What do you think? No, no, no. Obscene. Obscene. Even in the United States, I wouldn't tolerate it. I think three. three even, th even the United oh, States so wouldn't tolerate yeah. it? <laughs> Rather make make no comment on that. It's too awful for words. Too awful mm. for that words. That, yes. That's right. Mm. Leave it to the young folk to say it's mm. cool. The old dignified people holding the line, <laughs> man. Too awful for words. I would say so. Yeah. It just shows the the level of um, societal decay that we had arrived mm. at in the early seventies, mm -hmm. where they're asking the sorts of questions of the general public. Yeah. Can you imagine? Like someone came up to you today and asked you, what do you think about streaking? What? I would still be appalled. I would still be like, I think that is illegal and people should be arrested <laughs> if they start doing that. Like, why yeah. would anyone do that in their right mind? Did you ever encounter, I don't remember ever, ever seeing streaking in my whole life. Even at a football game or anything like that, I've never seen. I've only ever mm -hmm. seen reports on streaking. Yeah, so in games only reports and then films and things where people are being yeah. silly. But in real life, <clears throat> I don't think so. No. And I've only ever mm -hmm. heard of nudist colonies and all that yeah. stuff, and nude beaches. Yeah, That's yeah. what I heard about. Well, you should know in Miami. There's, yeah, that's so what they there's. Are. It's not a nude beach fully. It's topless for the women. Uh oh. So, but you don't have guys. Yeah. It's just not right. I don't know. It seems like in culture today, we want to make everything private public. Mm. And so, sex and um, talking about sex and. Mm. Um, endlessly all, have all kinds of sex too right like, whatever that means right like, <laughs> yeah. i don't know if i think one bill clinton, bill clinton <laughs> i don't know if that's sex. <laughs> yeah 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 um yeah they they uh, i don't know our modern society i think because mm. of the social media and mm. youtube and things like that people can post a lot of content mm. that is private that you mm. would not see if you did not have social media like that you would true. not encounter that, that ever yeah. see it mm. um so social media and the internet has opened up this the doors to all these ob obscene private things that mm. now it's funny the guy said them. not even in the united states would they tolerate that so that man in the 70s thought that the u.s was more liberal mm -hmm. Yeah. Than the UK. I think it's always been. But today, in account. our experience now, do you think it's true? Yeah, I think it's still true. Yeah. The US is more liberal. Yeah. Really? Yeah. In what way? <clears throat> in the way that they're more public about things that are mm. that should be private. Like give me an example in, in the regular public square, like Um I think like I've seen more people out in public touching each other and making out and things like that <laughs> in america yeah i don't i don't think i've seen it yeah. so much here mm. people say that in europe you see a lot of that but mm. i don't think we're close enough uh mm. the uk is and culturally oh i see i see i do remember when we went to france mm. i did feel like 
we saw a lot more Blah. people like ah yeah just totally <laughs> yeah. Eat. eating each yeah. other's faces yeah <laughs> but um in terms of laws though the uk has been ahead of the us so for example mm. same sex marriage was passed here before mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. than in the us um i think um other things like women's rights and all that. i think the women's right to vote passed in the uk before in the us yeah too. probably so <clears throat> i think in terms of laws it's probably because the uk is smaller i think mm. it's easier it's mm. like the u.s is to such a huge ship legal. that you're trying to turn oh i see and but there are so many people there's like millions more people in mm. the ship that already accept mm. than the smaller population in in britain great britain mm. yeah but anyway, I'm all about going back to the traditional days of, mm. of ladies wearing long skirts out in public, mm. long sleeves, mm -hmm. covering your shoulder, like your neckline. Yeah. Um, I like, I like that stuff. And I think it, it, like you said about, we were just, we just did a video about <clears> architecture <throat> mm. and similar to architecture is what you wear on your body mm. and the style of clothing you wear affects you and what you mm. think and how you feel and mm. just like you wouldn't go to the beach in a prom dress or a mm. wedding gown like full nice mm. gown you know there i think we shouldn't be wearing things like at the beach those kinds of things like thong bikinis thong, or whatever yeah and like <laughs> topless top, halter tops and whatever <clears throat> Short, mm. short skirts that it looks like mm. you're not even wearing a skirt. Mm. Or those um, shorts that you could see the bottom of the curve of the butt cheek. Yeah. <laughs> what are they called? What is it? Hot pants or something? <laughs> is that right? I don't know. <laughs> Cutoffs, maybe? Cut -offs. I don't know. I don't know. But those Where, like you see just... the cheeks just hanging out <laughs> and you're like... Well, see, and that's an example where we haven't seen that very much here, but we have seen a lot of that in America, right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe yeah. you're right. The ones that I've seen here <laughs> tend to wear like hosiery or what's called pantyhose. Mm. So they wear they wear something on their legs, but their shirt the shorts are actually very short or the skirt is very oh, short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is common here. Mm. Yeah. Maybe because of the weather, they can't just have the skin out. No, I think it's I think it's style. Modesty. It's not. It's, it, it's their modesty. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just a schoolgirl thing where mm. it's a part of the uniform and then you just hike up. They, they like to hike up their skirts or whatever. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny because in America, we don't wear uniforms. Um, not, not in public. In not state school. Schools. Not in state school. Yeah. So if you... you the whole ideology of like wearing a school uniform... Mm. Um, and like hiking it up and being all sexy or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you don't see that, right? No, because everyone's yeah. already showing everything in America. <laughs> yeah, so over here it's all about finding the ways that you can modify the uniform yeah, yeah. to be sexy. Yeah, yeah, I know. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Interestingly, something that I think we should bring back to femininity and, and what women should do with their mm. hair is have long hair. Mm. And that's something that the young girls of today in, in the UK like long hair. Mm, Whereas in America, they're not into they're it. They're all about the boy they're, cuts. I think the short so. Cuts. I don't know what they're doing in America, but the girls here mm. all have like beautiful long hair. You see them mm. when they come, go out of college or their school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all have the same hairstyle. Isn't <laughs> it's like it the, really long. the sort of, don't they put there's it the up? There's the bun on the top, big massive Messy, bun. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or they just have long hair and mm. it looks nice. Mm. Yeah. But then they then they're hacking up their skirts and they're like. Yeah. <laughs> The have you seen video? Have you seen videos or pictures of people at beaches in like the 30s and 40s? Guys are yeah, in suits yeah. still. Mm -hmm. They like roll up the sleeves of their or the, the legs of their trousers, mm -hmm. and they roll up their yeah yeah yeah, and and they maybe take their jacket off, mm -hmm. but they still have a shirt with yeah, a tie. Yeah, there's a different style, <laughs> and, totally different style. And then the women are still in like dresses, like dress looking. Um, yeah, yeah. swimsuits kind of thing. I don't, I don't know. I've even seen pictures um, of like uh, people hiking through the mountains mm. and the guys are still in suits and the girls are still in dresses. 
<laughs> so it just goes to show that, though. but they did it. Yeah. It goes to show that they could do it. Yeah. Except yeah. now we're just all about comfort. A hundred percent. Practicality. Comfort. No, practicality means comfort. Mm -hmm. So it means if you want to um, be able to move your body a certain way, mm -hmm. then the clothing has to enable that. Right, right. If you want to just slouch on the couch and let your legs out, then the clothing's meant to enable that. Well, then how did people, <clears throat> how did, I know, I guess because we've seen pictures, but people riding bicycles in suits and dresses yeah you see but nowadays it's like you wear i would lycra. never do that oh they no. wear their lycra spandex <laughs> that's a different that's like sporty kind of i don't know but i'm saying I think recreationally yeah, yeah. they would be in their suits and dresses hmm. but a different world different yeah. world Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below and links to other videos that you think we should react to. And do you think we should go around interviewing people about streaking today? If you do, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash the postmodern family. Thanks for watching this video. Bye. Bye.